It's so weird how whenever I take a break, the channel starts getting more views. It's not by choice, I'm just working on more videos. Anyways, what's up? Prominent Bravely Yapper here. So there's a few pieces of Bravely news I probably should have found a way to share a lot sooner. That's my bad. It's just that they are so small in regards to discussion that I couldn't really figure out how to share them besides two minute videos, which I hate doing in all honesty. Now we just make three hour reviews for several months at a time. Ah! So I just decided let's talk about both of them in one video and then do some random yapping based on questions from you guys about Bravely or otherwise, because it's been a while since we've done that. And if you're just stumbling across this video, hi there, you should subscribe for more stuff. So let's start with the bad news first. That being that the Bravely Default announcement we were supposed to get sometime this year has been delayed. Yeah, back in October, they released another great piece of idea art for the 12th anniversary of BD1. And under that post was a note from Asano-san saying that although we were promised some news this year, it looks like that won't be happening and that we will have to wait a little longer. Why wasn't this shared as much? Because it was on Twitter. And who uses that shit anymore? You don't. You didn't know about it. And I only know because I have the Bravely Twitter account notifications turned on. Speaking of, I'm on Blue Sky now too, so go follow me there if you want. Now, I won't say I'm not disappointed. Of course, I want to hear more Bravely news, and the sooner the better. But being transparent, I also don't mind at all having to wait. Uh, BD2 obviously suffered in some departments from being a little undercooked, despite it still being my favorite game. So I am more than willing to give Team Asano more time on whatever they've got in the works. I'm going to guess that they will probably do some kind of announcement around the same time as BD2's fourth anniversary. That's scary to say, four years. But that's when I think we might hear something. So end of February next year. Hang in there, lads. So because these two bits of news were not worth making a single video on each, I decided to ask you guys for questions or topics that I could toss in for fun. I'll share the other news somewhere in the mix, but now you won't know when it's coming. <laughs> Don't worry, this will be fun. Uh, we'll start with the Discord responses first, which can I add, I love the discrepancy between the responses I got from the community post on YouTube and in my Discord. Because on YouTube I got relatively normal but interesting suggestions, and then the Discord is just fucking memes and I, I love that. Why Blue Sucks, followed by Blue Nova Tyrant went down a different path focusing on the other FF adjacent series, Kingdom Hearts. Um, uh, Blue Sucks cause uh, I make better videos. And also, that comment on Kingdom Hearts is not even wrong. In another timeline where I get equally fixated on inane bullshit in high school, this would absolutely be a Kingdom Hearts channel. The good fashion and swagalicious hair parts, though, not sure. I mean, I do still dress like this nice, clean-cut young Nomura, but my hair is like Oswald style right now. And no, this isn't the face reveal. I've already done that. Real heads know. What Pokemon team would Elvis have? I actually saw a bit of fan art of Anya's with a Pokemon team on Twitter by Messy Jedi recently. I'll link it here if I can find it. Um, I feel like Elvis has some of the same energy as Brock, so he'd probably have some Pokemon that like constantly bite him or worry the rest of the party about whether or not he can actually handle them. But then like Magic, he's just really good at keeping them under control. Torterra is like a given, but maybe also Agron and uh... Gyarados or something. I don't know. I only know up to Gen 4. Those are my best guesses for Elvis, but leave a comment below if you want to see me try to make teams for all the main characters in another vid, or if you have a similar concept for a video. Red's best Elvis BD2 impersonation, singing Elvis. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> um, see, I can't sing, like, at all. And I don't think the Elvis impression, it, it's a bit shy, isn't it? Like, I got a wee bit of Scottish in my family, but, uh... Here, alright, I'll fight. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give you, like, one lie. Well, I'm evil! So don't you go messing around with me. There, that's it. That's all you get. That's why I don't do karaoke streams. What are my favorite jobs from each game in the Bravely series, and why? Alright, this one is more normal. Uh, for BD1, it's Dark Knight, easily. I adore the class, it looks badass, it shits out damage, has some weird side abilities, and I'm a sucker for the edge. For Bravely Second, Exorcist. Again, I crave the edge, and it's a very unique, if not overpowered, class with its undo abilities. Also, Glossolalia is a very neat ability that encourages the very minimal 
multiplayer components that the 3DS games had. And in BD2, I mean, it's been four years, I can say it. Brave Bear. As much as some people think it's kind of mid, I really appreciate the class as a kind of celebration for the series thus far. Really neat meta abilities, the fit is fresh as fuck, and fantastic stat line. Yeah, Brave Bear wins. Now to the YouTube post, and we'll start with the one that you've been waiting for. Destination Tropical brought it up, but I was going to mention it anyways. We finally have a release date announced for the English Bravely Default 2 art book. April 22nd of next year is when it will release from Dark Horse. I know I'm hella excited, despite owning the Japanese version already, but it, still, it'll be nice to read the notes and stuff and see if they change anything. That was the other news, by the way. You're free to go and hang around for the last few topics. So let's just get right into the next one. What are your thoughts on spell levels in the Lux and Dark games versus spells as abilities in BD2? Overall, I really don't give a shit. I know that a lot of BD2 haters are hung up on this point, and this seems to apply to Black Mage in particular. But like, let's just look at the BD1 Black Mage, for instance. Of the non-spell level increases, what do we have? Broad lore? You're on Black Mage, not using that. Abate Fire? Okay, boss dependent passive, not terrible. Damage Dispersion? Probably not using that. Silence Immunity? Actually good, until you get a white cape in Chapter 1, then it's swappable. Black Resonance? Don't even pretend that you use this shit. Magic Attack up 20%, not a bad pick, but there's better. Pierce Magic Defense? Actually good, regardless of the three slots it costs. Group Cast All? Also really, really good. So of that list of passives, there's like, what, three that are good all the time, one of which can be replaced by an item, and then a fourth passive that is good under certain circumstances. I get the idea behind the complaint that there's more variety with the BD1 version, but let's be real, you weren't using half of these in the first place, so it doesn't really matter. If you could consume one edible food item that was created with absolute perfection, what would it be? And also, what inspired your channel name? First one, easy answer, medium rare butter basted steak, seasoned with salt and pepper beforehand, and had rosemary added during the basting. Throw in some crispy fries with a pillowy interior, I'm in heaven. Try that though, butter baste your steak in a pan and add rosemary, it really kicks up your steak, even like a cheap $6 steak from the grocery store. As for the channel name, I think I've told this story before, but um, back when I first started the channel, it had a different name for a few days, but it sucked, so I needed something more identifying or unique. So I had just been playing around with some Yu-Gi-Oh cards on my computer desk at the time, and I just looked at my two favorite cards, took the word dragon out of them, and smashed the rest together. That's literally it. Here's the original channel banner I made with the two card arts in it of Red Nova Dragon and Tyrant Dragon. So yeah, that's, that's where the name came from. And for our final question of the day, what games are you currently playing and enjoying? What do you look for in a good game? Uh, music is the number one thing that tends to hook me. If your game has good music, I'll probably try it. Uh, story is usually the next thing that keeps me around. I like a good story. And of course, the game has to be actually fun to play. As for what I've been playing, uh, recently I've been addicted to Warframe again, getting prepped for the launch of the 1999 update, which I'm super excited for, and helping some friends get caught up for it as well. And, uh... Nope, that's pretty much all I've been playing for the last few weeks. <laughs> I'm also keeping up with Limbus Company, which is the big video that I've been working on for a little while now. Uh, the script is coming along more consistently than the Octopath 2 review did, but uh, god am I scared that it's going to end up as long as that one. It's already getting there. Uh, I have a number of games I want to play and make videos on. Mouthwashing sounds really interesting. I'd like to do a Who's Lila video someday. And again, I have this one scene in Warframe that's stuck in my head, and I want to talk about my thoughts on it because there's a lot of discussion about it online with little clear answers. Well, that was stuff. That was definitely some stuff. Anyways, uh, since I've been stupid busy at work and trying to write the next big review script for Limbus, I haven't had time yet to do an edited series of the Octopath 2 playthrough. So I put together a playlist of all the live streams. You can check that out if you want to. Massive thanks to everyone who asked questions. If we want to do more Yap videos like this, even looser and just chatting quickly about some things, let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like me to expand on one of the topics I breezed over today, let me know that too. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.